Hello and welcome back to the Nords. We are King Hot, and his job is to keep the realm together. He has to keep the realm together until our heir inherits. And just in general, it'll be good if we can keep the realm together because we really, really want this guy to die to get us a little bit of Dawnstar. So we have natural growth there. We really want um, to get Halffinger as well in a couple of generations because his heir is also our eventual heir because it's our heir's heir. So that will get us Halffinger. So we'll have Halffinger. We'll have Dawnstar. We're going to expand a lot by doing absolutely nothing. The only thing that could mess everything up is if our realm falls apart. So let's just have that bit not happen and then it'll all be good. Also, what's interesting is if we can grab ourselves something like Halffinger, um, that would be great because it'll fix our problem with inheritance. Because, like, oh yeah, we'll lose Morgate on the next generation, but the generation after we'll get a new kingdom, right? You, it will kind of fix a lot of our issues there. Um, in that we're not going to inherit the same things, but we will inherit equal or greater value things. So, that'll be good. In the meantime, we probably want to be looking out for a war. Markarth, Karspire, um, this land here, uh, Hroldan, all of that is like prime territory for us to attack. However, our faction is still very strong. So once this person leaves the faction, we should be ready to go and declare wars. But we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. So we're just going to chill. We're going to let time move on. We're going to let money come in. We're going to just generally sort things out. This is fine, that's building, I'm just checking we're good everywhere. Uh, can we build in Graypine Hall a little bit more? Yeah, we get another set of military camps here. Why not? Let's do that. Get some extra troops. And now we just chill. There's nothing to do. Fort Grandeur is going up. That's good. High tents are finished in Shriekwind. Have we got anything else to build here? Nope. Okay, cool. New diplomacy perk. Uh, let's grab it. So our diplomacy perk we're going to take is Groom to Rule. Why are we taking this one? Well, because it will give all of our children, so we'll give these two people extra stats. And there's no uh, kind of twist. There's nothing we need to do for it. We just get, like, extra stats. So she just got three extra stewardship. So she's now sitting at eight instead of five. That's actually a pretty significant increase because that puts her very close to getting up to ten, which is the amount that we generally need to be able to hold, like, five bits of land. So that's good. And then you got an extra three diplomacy. Nice. Yeah. It's just solid uh, little increases. And also, um, them getting three is very nice. Because it does say they receive one to three extra skill points. And they both receive three. Good roll. Cool. Um, I don't know if we're going to go into Heart of the Family to get closer family opinion and all of this. I don't think we need anything else in this line whatsoever. I think Thoughtful is probably kind of useful for us. And then um, we'll see where things go from there. But... Yeah, it's a good single point thing to put things into. Hey, you got extra opinion of us. You're now only negative 11. I think when she goes positive opinion, we're going to abandon this scheme to make her, uh, make her like us. And we're then going to start seducing her. That, that's our new plan. Oh, she already left. Fantastic. In which case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to abandon the scheme now. And we're just going to seduce her now. Uh, where are we? I would like to seduce you. 0% chance still? Really? Oh, okay. Well, in which case, I'm going to keep swaying you. That's fine. We will restart the scheme. Uh, and now, because she's left the faction, yeah, we might as well go and absorb some people. Were there not two here a second ago? I'm fairly certain that this land belonged to somebody else a second ago. Didn't it? I thought there were two like people who were independent here. Maybe, um, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I'm sure there was somebody else here. Was it here? Did you have somebody else in charge? No? I don't know. Oh, they conquered it in a holy war a reasonable amount of time ago. Hmm, I don't know where the other group went. I, mean, I guess I'm going to attack Karspire. That's fine. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe there wasn't another group. Uh, we're going to do a Holy War because we can spend our uh, devotion to do it. Uh, what is your religion, actually? Old Gods. So old Gods will be Markarth. Oh, no, you're the Druidic cult. Nobody else really is Old Gods. Okay, well, perfect then. Uh, you have 230 troops. 
This seems like a nice, easy war for us. The flare war. We're then gonna rally point ourselves like here, and then raise our troops and attack. There we go. War is won. Now we just sit and we do nothing. Um, two prisoners. Andlan uh, Croi would like to convert you and recruit you. Duvar Blood Tusk, same thing. Convert and recruit. Wonderful. So we got the first one and we got the second one. And a scheme at court. Somebody is plotting against me. And they're trying to claim my throne. Well, there's not really a lot we can do until we know who it is, so that's fine. Uh, that's not a war we care about. High tents are done, and we have 100%. We captured some prisoners, though, so let's see what we can do. I could ransom you for nothing, or I could demand your conversion and recruit you. Let's do that. Then I'm also going to... Well, we'll wait for that to go through. Cool, he's accepted. And now we enforce our demands, and we seize the territory. Nice. So that now means that we hold Karspire. It is a tribal holding, which means that we have to immediately give it away. And we're going to give it away to this dude. Steerbjorn. Yes. Cool. Right. So we've expanded a little bit. How's our faction looking? Not really that strong. Um, I say we reinforce and we go for something else. Like maybe Markarth. How are you looking? Your ally strength is really low. Wait, are your allies internal? Yes, yeah, there's your vassal, so they're not going to be called in. That's your vassal. So your ally strength doesn't matter. So you have 1,300 troops. We could win. It's a holy war for the hold of Dragonstar that you're in currently, and you've declared that holy war. So that's them attacking for Dragonstar and losing. So actually, us declaring a holy war on them would be great. And we could take all of this. I don't see a reason not to. Um... So, let me just double check here. So, you're this cult. Um, so, you might join in with 7,000 troops. That's the only negative here, is that these guys might join in. They are currently in two wars already. They're kind of busy. Yeah. I think this is a good opportunity for us to grab Markarth. Let's do it. Holy War for Duchy. Declared. We're not at war with them. That's fine. I was just like a little worried about where they'd appeared, but we're not at war with them. They're in the other war. We're just hostile to them because we can seize the same bits of land. Okay, can I walk over here? Yeah, I'm gonna take their siege. That's step number one. Four months left. Our wife is dead. Riki uh, is dead, and that means that we need a new wife. Okay, uh, who is available? I'm looking for alliance power. Best alliance we can get is 1.6. Okay. Um, oh, have I got any filters on here? Uh, yeah, I actually want infertile characters. There is nobody. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Maximum age, 35. There we go. I want infertile characters. Perfect. Alliance power. Protectorate of the Imperial Isle. Well, that's an alliance and a half, isn't it? <laughs> that's definitely an interesting one. Um, that would be a, yeah, you're a little bit far away though. Svelfold, you have no power whatsoever, so I could marry her. Also, I actually want high stewardship though. Well, I don't need that high stewardship. It actually looks like we can hold all of our land just fine by ourselves. I could maybe try and grab in somebody who's really good at something. Like maybe high marshal. This also brings us back to the protector of the Imperial Isles. You're also good at magic. You seem like he would be probably a good person to marry. Yeah. You, you seem like you're bringing a lot to the table. Although, actually, uh, the magic doesn't really matter because your arcana is still below 10. You could bring in Mavel Bluewall. You would be good for recruiting. Your stats are good across the board. It doesn't bring in an alliance, but... Yeah, let's bring in Mavel uh, Bluewall. Stats uh, aren't that impressive, but... Sorry, um... Alliance isn't that impressive, but stats are. Yeah, you're going to be really good for educating people. Let's do that. Right. Then we're going to head back over here. Right. Uh, she's accepted our hand in marriage. Wedding celebration. I'm um, going to take 130 gold for that, I think. Although we could also just take the prestige, and then we're back in positive prestige. Yeah, that seems good. Wedding feast. 
Uh, are we going to have a feast? Sure, we need to lower our stress. Let's go. Although feasts have been bad luck for us, but, you know, maybe this one won't be bad luck. I mean, the last one was fine. The first one was really the worst, by far. Um, we can call in our ally, clan heads. No, I'm not going to call him into this war. There's no reason to call him into this war. Cool. A laudable effort. As the feast is underway, our guests are eating and drinking merrily. Lord Attar approaches um, Meva and me at the great table. This is a marvellous feast. All my compliments to the host. Uh, let's get household efforts. It makes her like us and it also gets us direct vassal opinion. Yeah, sure. Oh, we got an event here. Hello, a feline hunter. I think I found the reason why some days are more rat-free than others. Yes, I would like the cat. I, uh, that seems good. Um, also, because we haven't done this in a while, let's just do a quick check and see whether we can get people of our house in here. So that people are related to us in jobs. Uh, like, for instance, we should have somebody who can take this job, right? Because we should be able to put our brother in charge, you would think. What's his name? Our brother is called... Um, Avuls... Oh, there we go. Your brother. Yeah, he's excellent in the job. It makes him like us, which is good. Gives us knight effectiveness and court grandeur. There's no reason not to have him in the job. Same with this one. There's no reason not to have him in the job because it's literally free. So it's just um, stuff sitting on the table waiting for us to take it. Um, Here. So the other one we're looking for is uh, Fast Red. Yeah, our brother is terrible at this job, but hey, he might be terrible, but it gets his opinion in building construction time. Seneschal. Um... I don't see anybody who we can give that job to. That's okay. Cup bearer, probably don't want to give to anyone. Court musician. Anybody related to us who could be our court musician? I don't see immediately somebody who's related to us, although they might be far enough away now that they're related to us and I can't see their name. Like, it doesn't say, like, they're your brother or something. It might be, like, they're your, you know, second cousin twice removed, but I don't see anyone obvious here either. Artificer? Nope. Uh, House Carl? Again, I don't think we have anybody there who's who could fit the job. Okay, cool. It's still worth doing that, just so that we get, like, those little bonuses that we just got there. Cool. Uh, back over here to the war. The cat. The cat shall be called Alduin, because that sounds very funny as a name for a cat. The Witness. I stumble outside to relieve myself. Uh, as I stumble outside to relieve myself, I hear shouting around the corner. As I turn, I see uh, my brother, Prince Avulstein, sneer as he sinks his blade into the face of the uh, cowering Baron Edward Wester. Whatever sound I made must have been enough, so, for he turns towards me, surprise on his face. He's just been killed. Um, now we have Baroness Natra in charge. I say, what have you done? Or everyone will know of your crime. We can expose his crime to give us a reason to imprison him. Hmm. We could imprison him. However, we can't take his title. That's the thing. His primary heir is going to be my nephew. We would love to take his title. Because if we can take his title, then we would then be able to have our succession be very simple. It would be... Everything goes to you except Helgen, which goes to um, Margaret. That would be great for us, actually. I'm going to say everyone will know of your crime and reveal that he's a murderer. It doesn't work, do anything for us right now, but that's okay. Yeah. He lost opinion of us for exposing the secret, but everyone lost opinion of him for doing the act. So, we would love to do this. We get 40 opinion loss, and the tyranny is due to our low crown authority. So, if we could do this, but we had higher crown authority, that would be ideal. So, we need prestige, and we just basically need prestige. Like, two different things saying we need prestige there. Um, you're okay at Marshall. How are you at stewardship? Terrible. Okay, well, I'm not going to put you in there then. Let's put in Steerbjorn. He is terrible, right? Yeah. Oh, you're actually better as a chancellor. Oh, but you have no skill whatsoever at stewardship. 
how are you at stewardship? You're okay, but like actually he's terrible at that job, so. How are you at um spy mastery? You're okay at spy master. So I could put you in as a spy master, I could put you in as a steward, and I could put you in as a diplomacy, but I end up with a bad council no matter what that way. I'm gonna put in Steerbjorn. He's promoting cultural acceptance. Why is our cultural acceptance with the mountain orcs? Out of curiosity. Wait, is it increasing acceptance with the mountain orcs or is it increasing acceptance with reach folk? Is reach folk. Okay, I actually need to find mountain orc land. Yeah, okay. Because this is actually not her culture, weirdly. Mountain orc, we're only at 18%. I guess I've been increasing it with reach folk. How did we do there? Or at 29%. I mean, that's not too bad. At least that that's probably why our reach folk faction uh, kind of got a little bit weaker. Because the cultural acceptance became a lot more okay. Oh, yeah, yeah you hate us because you're um, old gods. Um, I guess I could uh, start converting. We also want Peak Shade. Yeah, okay, we'll leave things alone for just now. Right, I have uh, many plates spinning. Let's not change all the plates midway through. My guests have departed. The feast is over. We can focus on the war. Okay. So that is Markarth's uh, army there. We would love to, after we siege this, go and beat up Markarth's army. So let's go. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to switch you into being the leader. In fact, there's... Well, no, you're not a better leader. I thought you were someone else. Uh, no, you're actually fine then. Although, what's this one? Movement speed in provinces affected by winter. Uh, no, we... Um, yeah, it's not affected by winter, so we're fine. We'll leave it where it is. Two prisoners. Break brass water. I can get ten gold for you. You're married to... Madka Icro. But it looks like I could just recruit you. Probably. Yeah, it seems fine. And then we have Thraskan Ragenvald. Um, I would love to recruit you because that will give us yet another um, that young person in our court, which we're kind of missing. Awesome. Awesome. Thinks we're going to get this fight. They have not ran yet. They are running, but we're still going to catch them. And they're starving. So this is just going to be a slaughter. Yeah, this this isn't close. This is just an absolute slaughter. Their army has been defeated. Can we walk to Markarth without taking attrition? We can indeed. Well, I think we should just do that then. Loyalty or fear? As my king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a... Um, such a risk. So we could get generous liege, lower vassal taxes for a direct vassal opinion. Fear is more effective or I have more important men to impress. I'm going to make Bruma like me. Not because I have any particular reason to do anything with Bruma, but just because I don't really want to get stressed. Right. Um, the person we're swaying, what's your opinion of me now? Zero. So maybe one more and we'll seduce. We'll wait for that to go round. At least we'll check seduce it then, anyway. Holding taxes and more gate went up. Nice. Working our way back along. Oh, they've retreated to Markarth. Well, that's not good because it appears to be a dead end. Yeah, um, that's not good for you. They're still starving. Their troops have been defeated once more. Um, 84 gold for the claim. I'll take it. Sure. So we now have that claim on Peak's uh, Shade that we can potentially use at some point. Cool. We've won yet another battle. Because uh, you're landed, I can't uh, recruit you, but I will take uh, 45 gold. Wait, does that take, say it's going to take four years for the um, siege? And that says four years? Yeah, it's a little slow. I think I, think I would prefer to finish the siege before then. Uh, how can I get... So, what? what's in the war goal? This is. So, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, I think we could probably get enough war score without it. So, I'm going to try sieging this instead. This four years seems way too slow. Because I think that we can get 50% war score from the battle wins. So, we've got another 21% there. So, the question is, can we get 50% war score from all of these holdings? One, two, three, four four so four holdings 
and we're getting 12% of holding. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, that should be better. A curse undone. My rival bat has died. I had a rival. Do I have any more? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, I have Werner Cowflop. If he dies, I'll be very happy, apparently. Right, you now like me a little bit more. We're now going to uh, stop seducing, not stop, we're gonna stop swaying you, and we're gonna start seducing you. Because we should now have a chance. 25% chance. Let's go. Um, We have no chance to romance though. Yeah. So we're just gonna seduce her. And that should fix our problems with her joining factions against us. Wonderful, right. Back this way. Seven months left on the siege. Oh, the siege it down. Little bit of time. I could split my army in half in theory. How many men does Markarth have left? 800? Yeah, I'm going to split my army in half. I'm going to send one half over here. Wait, uh, I'm going to take attrition on any of those. Let's send one half over... This is the one that we need to siege here. There is a little bit of logic, actually, with sending our men straight to Mark. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to send my men to Markarth. My logic for doing this is, although it take it was going to take us four years with the siege unit, I wonder whether four years was just like a capped amount, and I wonder whether sending this unit back over there will give us, like, if it still takes four years, it might be worth them sieging, basically. Grow fonder. To nurture relationships between the next generation of rulers is a duty we must not neglect, says Queen Maeva. Um, some of you may, uh, more influential vassals have children that I'm certain Queen Ita would benefit from knowing. So we're going to introduce our 36-year-old daughter to a couple of 10-year-old year and a 13-year-old. My daughter and heir will do fine on our own. Sure, I'll use that as an opportunity to gain prestige then. Because otherwise it just seems weird. Right. Master of Words. As a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I'm well aware of the power of, eloquent co of an eloquent compliment. Showing admiration for a woman's best qualities is a sure path to her heart. I shall write a letter to Met complimenting her. So she is greedy, paranoid, and brave. Ambition and lust for life. Spontaneity and vigor. Unparalleled breathtaking beauty. Or assertive, powerful presence. Um... She's also athletic, so maybe I'll do this one. Let's try and get a budding interest here. It was well received. Okay. So how long does it reckon it'll take? Not enough soldiers. Nice. Alright, well, walk down here and get that one then. Oh, you can take over the siege as well that they've started. From this little revolt in Markarth. Uh, I'm not going to give up my cat because my wife is sensitive to the cat. Right. The cat was here first. Um... Wait, whose revolt is this? This is a peasant's revolt, but against who? Oh, against the chiefess, not against Markarth. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Right. March down here. I love that we're just going to take this siege about halfway through. That's going to be nice for us. Yeah, just all we have to do is defeat the army. Do we have uh, army leaders in both armies? Yes. Cool. Thought I'd just double check that we were good there. Nice one. We captured somebody. Um, I would like to get 10 gold, or I could instead demand conversion and recruit. More young people. Um, also, what happened to Markarth's army? Is that it? I think that's it over there. Okay. We kind of need it to come back so we can win um, some more war score off of it. Right. So we defeated the army, and we get to take the siege with 53 days left. Wonderful. You're now seating there. Cool. The meat. I make sure to pass through South Battle uh, or Brittleshin on the day of the practice uh, jousting meat. Lendwoman Met's officers are milling about, instructing young shield thanes, and I found Met wandering among them. Whatever intentions I had, her intention is clearly on duties as the lady of these soldiers. So I can appeal to her active or playful side because um, of my prowess skill. Okay. And we can get smoldering chemistry if she's got a playful side. Okay, let's take a walk on the battlements to discuss strategy. Um, tax season or malicious side. Let's, um, one of these shield fanes could be made to look a real fool. 
I don't think she's got a malicious side. I don't think tax is right, although she is greedy, so maybe that would work. Let's go thrifty side. Let's see how that goes. Spent almost all day discussing our plans for the next tax season. Cool, we get smoldering chemistry. You want to come to my court and give me something? Sure, I'll take it. Court grandeur is now level 7. And we have just got another siege. Uh, you are rock watch. Who is rock watch? So you are now attacking in the holy war for the tribe of Markarth. Wait, is that not what I've declared for? Tribe of Markarth is this? Yes, so we've declared for the same thing. That's awkward. Um, yes, I would like you to move up here and block this other army from advancing. Ideally. We are hostile to each other, like actually hostile to each other. Okay, finish your siege. This is fine. I should be able to attack them. Yeah, and I... Oh, they get the, they still get the Fending in River Crossing. I thought we could get around it because we held the land. I guess not. They get the Fending in Hills if we do this, but that's better. Wait, how do they get the Defensive Buildings bonus? Wait. How do they get that? Surely we should get the Defensive Buildings bonus. Wait. That's my vassal. Why am I... Ho how am I hostile against... Uh, okay, that's one of the game mechanics that makes no sense. That you can be hostile against your own vassal. Okay. Well, we'll ignore him for just now. Throws a passion. I find my vassal, Lendwoman Met, waiting eagerly. I meet my kinswoman in a copse not far from the castle. My heart was pounding, even though I knew no one would see us there. She guides my hand down between her legs to show me how wet she is. Oh, wow. We're getting into it, huh? The intensity consumes us both, the world spinning on an axis centered on this moment. For a while after she had left, the grass I lay, uh, I was lying in kept her warm. So she can become her lover or not. Sure, we want to do that because we want her to like us. And we really want um, her not to plot against us. So that seems good. Right, who are we going to seduce next? Do we have anybody? Um, we should have people in our court now who are relevant to seduce. I think we have, um, if I just do it by like stats, I think we have some people who we could seduce here. Not our wife, because she's not the uh, ones we're looking for. Nope, not you. I thought there was somebody. 35? Was it Maven maybe? 37? I thought there was somebody who was like uh, perfect aged uh, for us to seduce. I don't know. Let's go for. I guess we'll go for thirty-five. Uh, not thirty. Uh, which one are? Which one of you was thirty-five? You? Yeah. I'm gonna uh, seduce Perefna, and we'll see how that goes. Right. Let's go. Okay. Back over here. We're about to win the siege. Wonderful. Uh, you're gonna siege there. You're going to attack their army because that might get us the eight percent war score we need. Prisoners captured. You're going to get me 50 gold. You are going to be recruited. We're going to demand conversion recruit. And then you are going to be recruited. Demand conversion recruit. Cool. Let's get more and more people in our court. Just trying to fill it up a little bit. They're going to come siege. I don't think we're going to need to worry about that there. I think we're going to out siege them. If not, we can always walk over there and beat them up. Hoping this is worth 8% war score. You would imagine it is. But we'll see. It was. Perfect. I will now enforce demands, which gets us all this territory. Wonderful. So we've now expanded quite significantly. That should invalid yeah, that invalidated the these guys' war because we were already in the war. Dragonstar is still in the war with Markarth, but they're only at war with this one bit of it. So yeah, it's all good. Right. Um, let's get rid of some of these tribal holdings that we picked up. So this one's an actual castle holding. So we can hold on to that. And we get a special building in it, which gives a ton of fort level. Well, that kind of explains what was going on there. Tribe holding. Grant to a new noble of my culture. Uh, this one is a tribal holding. Grant to a new noble of my culture. What's the last one? Um, Ragenvald. I'm going to grant you to a new noble of my culture. And actually, the rest we can hold on to. Carol, uh, Le Leyland, uh, Markarth, and uh, Kolskegger. We can hold on to all of them. Yeah, perfect. 
So that's uh, great. And that actually means our succession looks a little bit different now. Yeah, she would inherit all of that land. Yeah, so we would actually get to keep all of the land over here. That's kind of neat. Uh, how are we looking here? We're not illustrious yet. That's all right. It holds court. I think we're in a good uh, spot right now, actually. And I think with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.